As you become more familiar with the GTN, you'll find that most functions can be accessed with just a few flicks of the finger. To make touchscreen data entry even easier, we've built in a bezel along the sides of the screen and a finger rail at the bottom of the screen for hand stabilization. Garmin's touch technology is designed to minimize accidental data entry due to fingers skipping or sliding across the screen in response to the aircraft in turbulence. Notice the small arrows between your active and standby comm frequencies. This is letting us know that we can flip-flop the two frequencies by touching the active frequency. If we touch the standby field, we now have the opportunity to enter our frequency with a keypad. If we take off from Aurora, Colorado, and they tell us to contact Denver Approach on 125.25, we can just press 1, 2, 5, 2, 5. We then have the choice to immediately set it as our active frequency by touching the transfer soft key. Or we can press enter to set it as our standby frequency. For now, we'll hit enter. And when the time comes, just touch it to make it active. Here's the same sequence done on the GTN 600 series. The same process also works on the NAV portion of the display. Now let's take a look at some of the advantages of the touchscreen on the Direct2 interface. We'll press the Direct2 button, and now we can tap where it says Select Waypoint. This will bring up a keypad screen to enter the airport code. Let's say we're heading to Salina, Kansas. We simply tap K, S, L, N, in the bottom corner is a soft key that says enter. We'll press that, then hit activate, and we're off to Salina. Because of the smaller display size on the 600 series, entering letters into it is a bit different. At the bottom here, we can touch a block of letters near the one we want to enter. Or we can also slide our finger across these smaller letters until we reach the one we're looking for. Then we can select the specific letter we want from the larger set just above that. So as you can tell, using the touchscreen is often much faster and much easier than using the knobs. Should the need arise, the GTN can quickly find and navigate us towards our nearest airport with ease. To do this, we just press Direct 2, and select the tab for nearest airport. From here, we can highlight the nearest airport, press activate, and we're on our way. Here's how this looks on the 600 series. Here's the direct to button, then nearest airport, highlight the nearest airport, and activate. There are also a couple of other great shortcuts built into the GTN. If we select Direct2 and touch Select Waypoint to do data entry, we'll see a little magnifying glass that says Find. If we press that, it's going to bring up a list of all our recent airports. We can also find a list of all our nearest airports this way. Or if we've entered a flight plan, which we'll touch on more in a few minutes, we can find all of our waypoints in a separate list. Let's switch over to the 600 series. We just choose Direct To, Select Waypoint, and then Find for all of our recent airports. On the GTN, most major functions are never more than two taps away. The Home hard key in the upper right-hand side of the device is where we'll usually want to get started. If we want to go to the map, for example, we just press Home and then Map. For traffic, we just go home and then traffic. If we want to build a flight plan, we just go home and then flight plan. It doesn't matter what we're doing on the unit, home will always take us back to a familiar page. If not all functions can be displayed at once, like we see here on the GTN 600 series, we can scroll our finger across the screen to view the rest of the options, or up and down buttons appear on the screen that allow us to scroll as well. 
Now, one more important note. The home key also has a shortcut built into it to get you directly to the navigation page. If you hold down on the home key on the 600 series, an indicator pops up just before taking you to the CDI page. Notice that the CDI page offers a map button to quickly get you back to the moving map. On the larger 700 series, the default nav page is integrated directly into the map itself.